MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It uses a strong magnet, uh, radio waves and a computer to produce very detailed pictures of the inside of the body, such as bone, muscles, ligaments, and we can image areas such as the brain, the spine, the heart and the abdomen. Once you've been given an appointment for an MRI scan, on arrival to the clinic you would be asked to fill out a safety questionnaire. It's just to make sure that it's safe for you to enter the scan room. We will get, take you to a changing cubicle where you'll be changed into different clothing and we ask you to remove your keys, coins, cards, etc. Because it does use a strong magnet, the MRI scan, it's important you don't have any metal when you go into the room. The radiographer would position you onto the couch. The couch will move uh, during your scan. The MRI machine itself uh, is like a, a short tunnel that's open to either side. Once the radiographer has positioned you into the correct position, sometimes, depending on the type of scan that you're having, you would need to have a coil placed over that area. It's just so we can get better images from that area. Your scan usually lasts between 20 to 60 minutes, depending on what you're having scanned. And it does get quite noisy during your scan. We give you some headphones uh, to help protect your ears, but also to play some music, so it can relax you while you're having your scan. Many people are quite um, apprehensive about their scan, but we try and put you at ease as much as possible and the radiographer is in constant contact with you throughout your scan. We can see you at all times and we can speak to you through uh, a two-way intercom system. Uh, once your scan is finished, uh, you can just proceed as normal and carry on uh, as normal and the results will be sent to your consultant who referred you. MRI uh, is very useful because it shows uh, a lot of things that other imaging modalities might not be able to show. Uh, so it's a very useful examination to have. It doesn't use any ionising radiation such as a CT scan or an X-ray so it's relatively safe uh, procedure to have. It's, it does last a little bit longer but it can be quite relaxing. A lot of people can find it relaxing. A lot of people find it that they're claustrophobic and they can feel quite intimidated by the scanner but we have various things that we can do. If we can put you in scanner feet first we can do that, it puts you at ease and we'll stay with you in the room until you're feeling quite confident to, to go ahead with your scan. We can also offer patients to come in prior to their scan so they can have a look at the scanner and they know what they're coming to. Uh, so they've got a, a bit of an idea because I think sometimes when they watch things on television or perhaps they see things on the internet, um, it can cause a lot of fear uh, and anxiety if they're not sure. But we can get them to come to the clinic prior to their appointment uh, the day before, say, and put their mind at ease that it's really not uh, as bad as what they might anticipate.